Well, Halloween is quickly approaching and one local business in the Sherman Park neighborhood wants to help children celebrate with Sherman Phoenix. Taj Parasol, the owner of Buffalo Boss, joins us now. You all are having a trunk or treat event. Yes, we are. Sunday, the 27th, 2 to 5 p.m. at the Sherman Phoenix. And how is all of this going to work? Um, well, we have people that have volunteered. They've been vetted. Um, they're going to come bring their vehicles. Uh, we're going to use the parking lot as our, um, as our area and park the cars there and pop the trunks. Some of them will be decorated and we're going to hand out candy. Instead of kids going to people's houses and stuff, they can come to one area that's safe and uh, centrally located um, and trick or treat. Why was it so important for you to put on this event? Um, I love doing community events. Um, I love being out there um, and giving back. So um, I got the idea from my cousin in Flint, uh, shout out Ray, and, uh, and his has taken off and it was something easy and fun to do and safe for the kids. You know, um, I don't even eat everybody's food, so I'm not going to people's houses and stuff. But you know, if you have a, a nice place for the kids to congregate and they can come and have fun, we'll have a DJ and some specials at the restaurant, so it'll be great. And you are organizing this, but this is a collaborative effort of a lot of organizations and businesses as well within Sherman Phoenix. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our neighbors there are partnering and they're uh, bringing their vehicles as well and participating. Um, the bank, uh, the local BMO across the street is helping out. District 7 is participating as well. So it's a, it's a big community effort. Um, lots of people um, individually that don't have businesses have donated money. Um, uh, so yes, yeah, it's, it's great. And when you look at the Sherman Phoenix, I mean, this is part of that story, right? This is a, a community space. I've gone there several times and kids are just kind of hanging out, doing their homework or, or what have you. Uh, so for you to put this on for the first year, what do you see 10 years from now? Um, I hope that it snowballs. Um, you know, maybe one year we can get a bouncy house. Uh, we'll have a DJ um, for our first year, so that's cool. Uh, but a couple of other surprises, maybe we can uh, collaborate with the local businesses and make it um, even bigger than this. So that's what I see in the future. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And you can find more information about the Trunk or Treat on our website at TMJ4.com. Just head to the links section.